A scientific study by Dutch geneticist Dr. Han Brunner in the late 1980s added startling new evidence to the nature versus nurture debate. A lady was referred to my clinic because of her family problem. For several generations, the men in the woman's extended family had displayed patterns of extreme physical aggression, even committing rape, assaults, and arson. There's a lot of impulsive aggressive behavior. They are sort of more prone to fly off the handle if provoked. The family strongly felt it was not about the way they were bringing up these boys. It was something in them, something genetic. Brunner carries out extensive tests. He eventually discovers that the male members of the family have a rare genetic dysfunction. One single gene, known as MAOA, has almost zero activity. As his investigation continued, he recognized that this particular gene was crucial in managing our anger. It's well known that when someone's attacked, the body releases adrenaline. But there are other chemicals that flow into our brains that also dramatically change our mood. One of them is serotonin. Serotonin is associated with feeling good, but some scientists believe if it's not broken down after being released, a good mood can quickly turn bad. The MAOA gene acts like a mop after a spill, helping to clean up excess serotonin and returning us to feeling normal. Brunner theorized that the non-functioning MAOA gene was unable to control serotonin levels and so was responsible for the Dutch family's outbursts. Up until Brunner's discovery, no one had ever made a direct connection between behavior and any single gene. This was the first evidence of a behavioral effect caused by underlying genetic abnormality that would stand up in terms of the science. Brunner's revolutionary findings suggest that genes play a much bigger role in shaping human behavior than ever imagined. So it did change the scientific debate, I think. The past decade has seen an explosion in genetic research built on Dr. Brunner's findings. Instances of a totally non-functioning MAOA gene, like the Dutch family, remain rare. But researchers have discovered that as many as one in three men in Western populations carry a low-functioning or shortened version of the gene. The MAOA gene is there in all of us. Two-thirds of the male population have a highly active MAOA gene, but one-third has a less active, shortened version of MAOA. Studies suggest there's a link between violent behavior and the less active version in men, but not women. The gene is found on the X chromosome, which means men have one copy. Women have two. Scientists believe the second copy women carry may counteract the effect of the mutation. If this neurotransmitter gene does not function properly, it does put you at quite high risk of having abnormal behavior, at least uh, at some point in your life. It's this low-functioning, shortened MAOA gene that has become known as the warrior gene. So.